Hey, fitness fanatics. Today, we're diving into the best way to use creatine for muscle growth. From choosing the right type to nailing the dosage and timing, we've got you covered. Let's unlock the secrets of using creatine like a pro. What is creatine powder? Creatine powder is a popular dietary supplement that is used primarily by athletes and bodybuilders to enhance performance and increase muscle mass. It is a naturally occurring compound found in small amounts in foods like meat and fish and is also produced by the body in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. Creatine plays a crucial role in the body's energy production system by supplying phosphate molecules to regenerate adenosine triphosphate ATP, which is the primary source of energy for muscle contractions. By increasing the availability of ATP, creatine supplementation may help improve strength, power, and muscular endurance. Creatine powder is typically sold as a white, odorless, and tasteless powder that can be mixed with water, juice, or other beverages. It is usually taken in a loading phase, where higher doses are consumed for a few days to saturate the muscles with creatine, followed by a maintenance phase where a lower dose is taken on a daily basis. While creatine is generally considered safe for most people when used as directed, it may cause some side effects such as gastrointestinal discomfort, muscle cramps, and water retention. It is important to stay properly hydrated while taking creatine to minimize the risk of side effects. As with any dietary supplement, it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before starting creatine supplementation, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking medications. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific needs and circumstances. How can it help you build more muscles? Creatine can help build muscles through several mechanisms. Increased ATP production. Creatine supplementation enhances the availability of phosphocreatine, a high energy compound used to regenerate ATP. ATP is the primary fuel source for muscle contractions during high intensity exercises. By increasing ATP production, creatine can enhance muscular power and performance, allowing you to lift heavier weights or perform more reps, which can stimulate muscle growth. Increased water retention in muscle cells. Creatine draws water into muscle cells, causing them to swell or retain water. This process is known as cell volumization. The increased water content within the muscle cells creates a more favorable anabolic environment for protein synthesis, which is essential for muscle growth and repair. Enhanced Protein Synthesis Creatine supplementation may promote protein synthesis, the process by which your body builds new muscle proteins. This can potentially lead to greater muscle hypertrophy, increased muscle size, over time when combined with resistance training. Increased Anabolic Hormone Levels Creatine has been found to elevate levels of insulin like growth factor 1, IGF-1, a hormone involved in muscle growth. It may also influence other anabolic hormones such as testosterone, which can have a positive impact on muscle development. It's important to note that while creatine can provide benefits for muscle building, it is most effective when combined with regular resistance training exercises. Additionally, individual responses to creatine supplementation may vary, and not everyone will experience the same degree of muscle growth or performance improvement. It's always recommended to follow proper dosing guidelines, stay hydrated. First step. Choose the right type. To avoid wasting money on unnecessary creatine supplements, the first step is to choose the right type. According to a 2021 review comparing eight different creatine types, including their cost per serving, it was found that creatine monohydrate is the most cost-effective option. Surprisingly, all eight types were equally effective in boosting muscle creatine levels. Therefore, sticking to plain old creatine monohydrate can save you money while still providing the same benefits. Second step. Right dosage. When it comes to dosage, a recommended daily intake of 3 grams is sufficient for most individuals, slightly lower than the typical scoop size. Those with a higher body weight may consider a slightly higher dose. However, when starting creatine supplementation, it may be beneficial to initially take a higher dose. 
This leads us to the next step. It takes time for creatine levels to gradually increase and saturate the muscles. Depending on how quickly you want to experience the benefits, there are two protocols to choose from. The loading protocol involves saturating the muscles within 7 days, while the non-loading protocol takes approximately 3 to 4 weeks. The loading method is advantageous for those who want to experience the benefits sooner, and it is particularly recommended for individuals who are dieting. One potential downside of the loading protocol is the possibility of digestive distress due to consuming a larger amount at once, but this can be minimized by spreading the 20 gram dose throughout the day. Step 3. Timing of Creatine Intake Step 3 focuses on the timing of creatine intake and what to avoid taking it with to maximize its benefits. Since creatine does not have an immediate effect, taking it pre-workout does not offer any unique advantages. However, there is evidence that combining creatine with carbohydrates and protein can increase saturation levels, particularly during the initial saturation phase. On the other hand, there is a small possibility that caffeine consumption might hinder the benefits of creatine. To err on the side of caution, it is recommended to separate creatine and caffeine consumption. If concerned about potential interference, it may be best to limit regular caffeine intake and save it for times when it is most needed. To summarize the key points for maximizing the benefits of creatine, opt for creatine monohydrate, follow either the loading or non-loading protocol to saturate your muscles, and then take around 3 grams daily to maintain it. After a few weeks, observe for signs indicating the effectiveness of creatine supplementation. It's important to note that individual responses may vary, so it's always wise to monitor your progress and consult with a healthcare professional or sports nutritionist for personalized guidance. And there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the best way to use creatine for muscle growth. By following these essential steps, you'll be well on your way to maximizing your gains and achieving your fitness goals. Remember, consistency and proper supplementation are key. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow fitness enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on muscle building, nutrition, and overall fitness. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep pushing yourself to new heights and unleash your full potential.